Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be trying out a wig from a popular company. However, this is actually the first time that I've tried out a wig from them. And you may have heard of them before. This company is called Her Given Hair. Now, let me start off by saying this packaging is bougie as hell. And I'm not gonna lie, I am a sucker for good packaging. It just shows that the company cares about presentation and first impressions. Even the ribbon had the company logo on it. Wow. <laughs> now underneath this tissue paper is the wig. And that's the wig that I'll be trying on in this video. I didn't even realize that underneath the tissue paper, which was underneath the wig, that there is a duster bag. And this is there to protect the wig when you're not wearing it. Now that I've finished gawking over the packaging, it's time to move on to the actual wig. So this is actually a U-part wig. The texture is in Kinky Blower and the length is 16 inches. I was really surprised at how small the actual parting space was. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. On the inside of the cap, we have two combs on the parting and we have two combs on the side and we have one at the back for security. We also have an elastic band for even more security, so this wig is going nowhere. Now this little mesh part right here, I just used a pair of scissors to cut it out and this is what it looked like after. Now let's get into what my hair looks like and don't laugh, don't laugh. I've got struggle braids in, yes I'm not too good at braiding. I've only recently started protective styling again since I've relaxed my hair so it's been a long time since I've had braids in. If you're wondering what this bit in the middle is, it's actually a flat twist because I knew that I would be wearing a U-part at some time and I feel like flat twists are just a lot easier to undo rather than braids and cane rows. Oh yeah, I also have two flat twists on the side which is also going to be my leave out for this wig too. Now actually examining the wig and taking a look at the part, you can see that the parting on the wig is a lot smaller than my own that I have. So I had to go in with a rat tail comb to try and make my own parting a little bit smaller. Then I just done a two strand twist to keep the hair out of the way. Now it's time for the installation and look at this hair. It is so gorgeous and thick. It really does look like naturally blown out hair. Now my hair is actually relaxed so my hair's a little bit straighter than this. However, in the end you'll see that it still comes together perfectly. Installing this wig was actually extremely simple. I thought it was going to be quite complicated because of all the combs and I also thought it was going to be a little bit uncomfortable because of the combs in the part in but it was really lightweight, really simple and really quick. I just pushed the combs into the braids on each side and I was wondering why there wasn't a comb at the back but I didn't have any problems with the parting lifting up. And here is how it looked without styling the leave out. Now at this point, I was taking out my leave out, getting ready to style it, but I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. I know that I kind of had to go for a middle part by force because that's how I left my hair. But as for the actual wig, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. So if you take a look at this wig, wow. It looks like I've just blown out my hair. It's so soft and gorgeous, I just, I have no words for it. It literally is so light and fluffy and lightweight. So because my own hair is relaxed, I decided to fly in the wig just so that it can blend in a little bit better. And I didn't use any product whatsoever on this hair. I literally just flat ironed it how it is. And I was quite happy at the way it turned out. The flat iron worked really well with this hair. Instead of it looking like a kinky blowout, it started to look like just relaxed hair which was more of the look that I was going for. However, if you wanted to flat iron this hair yourself, I suggest you take smaller sections than me. There is a lot of hair on this unit. It's not to be underestimated. It's really thick and luxurious. 
Now, by this point, I actually decided what I wanted to do and I wanted to have a flat twist around the side just to keep with the theme of protective styling, you know, because you want those edges nice and tucked away. And plus the flat twists make for a better blend with this hair, because as I said, I am relaxed and this hair is kinky blowout. So it wasn't a complete match. However, it did match really well. Last but not least, I decided to bump the ends of the hair just to give it a little bit of a something, something, you know, it was looking a little bit plain. And this is what the finished look looked like. I am ecstatic at how it turned out. It looks so natural. The blend is amazing. And no one will ever know that you have braids underneath. You could run around telling everybody that this is your real hair and people will believe you. It looks that natural. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I will leave all the information about this hair down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.